In this video, I'm going to tell you about how this physical infrastructure is actually implemented in Microsoft Azure. We will talk about availability zones, Azure regions and Azure region pairs. In this way, you will be able to understand that how they are connected, how they are available and how they are implemented. In the earlier video, we talked about how a client, if he wants to move from on-premises to Microsoft Azure, it has to share the physical infrastructure with other stakeholders or other customers and client of Azure. Now, what exactly, you know, are these data centers? Where exactly this infrastructure or physical infrastructure resides across the globe? This is what we are going to learn today in this video. We are going to deep dive into Azure regions. And this is a very important topic for you to understand the physical infrastructure aspect of Azure. So now, as I told you, the clients that Microsoft has are spread across the world. That means Azure has to ensure that the services it provides in form of physical infrastructure or virtual services, they are supposed to be available across the earth. For this region, for this reason, <laughs> Microsoft came up with a concept of Azure regions. Now over here you can see that I have marked four areas on the world map with different colors and you can also see that all these areas are connected with themselves. Like if this yellow region has to communicate to white, it can, you know, has a connection. Similarly, if white has to talk to red, it has a connection. If red has talked to blue, it will, it again has a connection. So these areas are known as Azure regions. So now this is the physical infrastructure that I told you about. And now these physical infrastructure are spread across the world in this manner and they are connected amongst each other so that they can communicate and provide information or data that is necessary to each other so for example like a client of azure is present in india a client of azure is present in united states a client of azure is present in europe in this way what happens is the physical infrastructure dedicated to them is within their countries with every passing year Azure is deploying more and more physical infrastructure to increase the availability of services and resources for both customers clients and the customer clients of the organization that are opting for Microsoft Azure over here to make you understand this in a better way I have taken the information of India. So in India, the regions, okay, the regions that I have marked that have the physical infrastructure is one of them is in central India. One of them is in India South Central and then one we have in South India. If you are aware of the locations of India, this will be easier for you to understand. One physical infrastructure is in Pune then we have one in Hyderabad and then in Chennai and you can also see the year which it, it opened or you can see the upcoming infrastructure so the more infrastructure that they have the better availability connectivity and redundancy to a physical calamity is present for example if your data is in central India and because of some XYZ reason the central India region is not working fine for example there's a flood over there or something like that in that case azure will have your data in south india in a replicated or mirror server in this way if this goes down you will use this if both of them go down you will use this that is the most significant reason we have such a high availability in microsoft azure when an application is hosted in azure you will never hear that the application is down. Have you ever seen that Amazon or Flipkart or uh, Netflix, they, they are down for multiple days. You are unable to access them. That is never the case. Because all these big, big organization and application, they use one or the other cloud computing service. And this physical regions 
is the reason how they are you know able to give services with such a high service level agreements okay so over here availability zones present is mentioned we are going to talk about availability zones further availability zone is nothing but if one server goes down the data replicated in another availability zone is accessible for the client and you can you know read more about it so the main primary reason to create you know these regions and availability zone is to ensure that data uh, residency is there data, uh, disaster recovery is present and what not now i have shown you over here four regions now we are going to pick one region and we are going to talk about what exactly that is so for example let me consider this region we will term this place as azure region azure, azure region is nothing but a geographical place on earth on which azure data centers are present so these physical data centers are the physical infrastructure of azure and these regions have something known as availability zone so availability zones are connected through high speed private fiber optic networks that means that the data can go from one zone to another zone with private fiber optic this ensures the security of data the data is encrypted and data is not mixed or comes across another data centers or another zones so now you understand that your region contains multiple availability zone and these availability zones have a your data center you can take a screenshot of this particular slide or image and you can understand by yourself in a better way now i have coined the term availability zone multiple times what this exactly means is multiple data centers when connected with one region makes up a availability zone like for example the central A, uh, india availability zones present is available with three zones nearest region with zone coming soon central india so these zones are com connected amongst each other through network so if this goes down your load will go to these four if these three goes down your load will go to these two so availability zone ensures that they act the physical infrastructure in robust manner that means no matter what goes down or wrong your data is safe your services are up and everything is up and running fine and it's the headache of microsoft to take care of the server that is down and they have given you availability zone to work with the another rest working fine infrastructures so this particular red region is our availability zone and these are the multiple infrastructure consider this as north india south india east india west india and central india and they all combine together and make a availability zone and this all is a region now two availability zones can become a region pair that means central india is the primary region in which all your services are deployed and the region pair for this is south india secondary region so when you will try to create a virtual machine and for example all your clients are mostly from uh, europe then what you can do is you can deploy your virtual machine your server your data center in europe and the best way to have a region pair is to pick up a availability zone that is nearby so this way you will have a primary region and a secondary region and both of them together will make a availability zone now for example in central india due to some earthquake or something 
your availability zone is down, not working or destroyed. In this case, region pair comes into place. In this case, all your data will already be present in the physical infrastructure of secondary region availability zone and all your uptime load of traffic will be moved to this particular secondary region. This is the reason the region pair availability zone and primary region and secondary region Azure is able to give uptime of 99.9%. .9%. Now I have told you about multiple things. Now what exactly are the terms and descriptions we will talk about. A region pair, okay? A region pair is two Azure regions for redundancy and recovery. That means if one Azure region goes down, all the services, data, and load and traffic could be handled by second region. What is primary region? Primary region is the main region for resources and usage. Secondary region act as backup for failure. That means if something happens to primary region, secondary region will come forward and take the responsibilities of the main region. Now what exactly is failover? Failover happens when your primary region goes down and all the things get switched to the secondary region. So switching to secondary during an outage. Then what is a failback? Restoring to primary after an outage. That means everything is up and running fine and we are moving our services again back to the primary region. So failover is moving to the primary region during an outage and once the outage is resolved, everything is working fine up and running, we can do a fail back. That means we can shift again to the primary region. And then redundancy. Redundancy is provided by Microsoft Azure that is duplicating resources for availability. So for Central India, everything will be duplicated to South India. Disaster recovery. Recovering after a major disruption. So disaster recovery is something that Microsoft will take care of. In this way, what is the biggest note that you have to take away from this video is you don't have to take care of the physical infrastructure. You don't have to take the insurance. You don't have to pay for the repairment during the outage. Like you do not have to worry at all about any re recovery. Okay. The failover is automatic, the failback is automatic, the region pair creation is done by Microsoft. You just have to put everything in the primary region, rest, creation of availability zones, creation of region pairs, all will be taken care by Microsoft. So in reality, Central India and South India are together region pairs. So region pairs are created in a way that they are nearer to each other. Okay. So this way, if you are, you know, expecting the load and traffic from India, the best thing about this is even your region pair, that is your secondary region is also present in India. That means the, you know, uh, request and response from the APIs, the request and response from the servers will be quick because your load and traffic will be in India itself. So region pairs are created by Azure in same geography. So like, you know, if, if your primary region is in Europe, your region pair secondary region will also be in Europe. If your primary region is in U United States, then the region pair availability zone will also be present in United States. So now we understood what exactly is Azure Data Center in last video. In this video, we understood what exactly is a availability zone. Okay. And we also talked about a real region pair that is one in Central India and another one is in South India. 
So now we exactly know what all these terms are. So what exactly is an Azure region? A geographical area hosting Azure data centers, each region contains multiple data center facilities. What is Azure region pair? A pair of geographically separated regions providing redundancy failover capabilities. What is availability zone? A physically separated data center within a Azure region designed to ensure high availability. They are interconnected. There are two main data centers and they are present within the same Azure region. This gives the high availability like even if even if one availability, you know, zone goes down within a region, still they have two. Still if two goes down, they have three. If all the three of these data centers goes down, the whole region goes down, then they have a region pair. So first, Azure data center will, you know, expect availability from another data center within the same availability zone or within the same region. If the whole region goes down, they will go for the region pair. In the next video, we are going to talk about upcoming topics.